com a cara. Thank you. Okay, you want that? Man, no. National Anthem. Some people, so I will just call them 
has appeared in the in the document given to me. Your Excellency, this visit is led by His Excellency, the Governor of River State, Sir Similala E. Fubara. He is the one leading this delegation. Your Excellency, next to him is the Deputy Governor, Professor Ngozi Odo. Your Excellency, next to her is the Right Honorable Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Martin Ameule. Your Excellency is the Chairman of the State Traditional Rulers Council, or her Sergeant, I would say, the Newele Emo. Next is the Distinguished Senator Oluwa Yesu. Next to him, Your Excellency, is Senator Laka Wogu. Next to him is Senator John Asota Mbata. Next to him is Senator Dawari Pepo. And then next is the party chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Ambassador Desmond Akao. Next is the acting chairman of the All Progress. I don't know if that's what I was saying. You've got the camera. Ambassador Maureen Tamano, just uh, Ambassador of uh, Jamaica. I think she's there. Okay. And, and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, GCFR. The Honorable Ministers that are here, FCT and Petroleum Resources, Special Advisors. River State Delegation, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, we bring you warm compliment of the good people of River State and convey our sincere congratulations to you, our dear President and the Vice President, for your victory in the 2023 presidential election which has recently been upheld by the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. We will continue to pray to God to grant you wisdom, health, and strength to enable you discharge the duties of your high office. This delegation is fully representative of the people of River State and it cuts across political party lines and comprises of representatives of the government and people of River State, including traditional rulers, religious leaders, political leaders from various political parties in River State, including the People's Democratic Party, the All Progressive Congress, ETC. Elders, leaders, women, and youth of River State. It must be recalled that in River State, we voted for Your Excellency because we believed in equity, fairness, and justice. <clears throat> this decision of our people is indeed uncommon as it is the first time since 1999 that our people opt to vote for any other political party apart from the People's Democratic Party. We must particularly thank Your Excellencies, Mr. President and Mr. Vice President for the love shown to the people of River State, as amply exemplified by the appointment of our worthy sons into important positions in the federal government. Worthy of mentions, are the following. Mr. Ejuru Ngalale as Mr. President's spokesman and special advisor, media and publicity. Honorable Frank A. O. as South-South representative on the board of Northeast Development Commission. Honorable Boma Iyaye as executive director, finance and administration, Niger Delta Development Commission and Chief Tony Okocha as the Chief as River State Representative on the Niger Delta Development Commission Board. Particular and special mention must be made of the appointment of our son and leader, the immediate past governor of River State, Barisanyesu Mezumo Uike, CON, 
GSSRS Life Venture as the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nigeria. <laughs> this appointment is very significant because of the courage displayed in breaking the genes to appoint a Southerner from River State into this office. It is said that one good turn deserves another. Be assured, Your Excellency, sir, that River State people will always appreciate and reciprocate your kind and courageous gesture at the appropriate time. We also want to thank you for your spirited effort at turning around the economy of this country and in particular River State. Your recent effort that yield foreign direct investment to the tune of over 14 billion US dollar is highly commendable. Particularly, your approval for the new investment by Indorama Petrochemical Nigeria Limited in River State. <laughs> Our people cannot thank you enough for this gesture. And as a show of support for your effort, we have allocated 2 million 92,790.30 square meter, approximately 209.28 hectares, hectares of land to Indorama Petrochemical Limited for requisite expansion. <laughs> this week, Nigeria woke up to the cheering news of another dividend of your leadership, acumen, and diplomatic effort, which has resulted in the lifting of visa ban on Nigerian traveler by the United Arab Emirates. You have, by this singular act, raised the status and image of Nigeria in the Committee of Nations. We thank you, Your Excellency. <laughs> we, the people of River State, and indeed the people of Nigeria, are also delighted about Mr. President's resolve to ensure that the Portacot refinery is back in production by December 2023. These, these are not only laudable, but are indeed bold, audacious, pragmatic, and strategic effort aimed at revamping the Nigerian economy. However, we humbly urge Mr. President to note that access to the refinery on the east-west road is in most deplorable state, and we appeal to Mr. President to approve the reconstruction thereof so as to facilitate the transportation of petroleum products from the refinery. On our part, the state government has, in demonstration of our love and support for your kind effort, commenced the construction of Moji Aleto Alisa Refinery Road, which also leads to the refinery to provide a temporary alternative route from, for commuters to the refinery and surrounding areas while you embark on the construction of that section of East-West Road. As a people, we have always believed in you. Knowing your antecedents as a transformational leader, we must. We know that Nigerians are expecting so much from you within the shortest possible time that we have advised ourselves and indeed Nigerians to be patient with you as we can see that your policies and programs are crucial foundation for the future which needs time to mature and manifest. <laughs> On a rather sad note, we commiserate with Mr. President, the Nigerian police force and the family of the slave devotional police officer of Ahoda East local government area, who lost his life on account of cruel and dastardly act of some criminal. River State government has already taken up the matter with the seriousness it deserves. Our security agency has been fully mobilized to track down and arrest the perpetrators. River State government has already declared wanted leaders of the gangs, one, two, Baba of Ahoda East local government area and VIP of Ahoda West local government area with members of their criminal gangs. 
and place a bounty of 100 million naira on their head so as to ensure that they are speedily arrested. The state government and our people have vowed to stop at nothing to apprehend them, to make them face the full wrath of the law. But be that as it may, we humbly plead with Your Excellency to direct the National Security Advisor, the Inspector General of Police, and the Chief of Defense Staff to establish a special tax force to take charge of these troubled areas to complement the efforts of the state government in fishing out these criminals who specialize in pipeline vandalization, crude oil theft, and other nefarious activities which threaten national investment and adversely affect the economy of our dear beloved country, Nigeria. Once again, Mr. President, it is worthy to reiterate the fact that the good people of River State decided to pay you this solidarity and thank you visit to sincerely commend you for your kind and bold effort at repositioning our economy and recognizing our people. We can say without equivocation that this indeed is the first time since the return of democracy in 1999 that River State is truly feeling the impact of a federal government. <laughs> For ourselves, and on behalf of all the people of River State, we pledge our continued unalloyed loyalty and support for Mr. President and Mr. Vice President, and wish you continued success as you embark on the odious task of revamping our economy and transforming our country for the good of all. Thank you and God bless you. Long live, long live River State, long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. Your Excellency, the Governor of River State, who has stepped into a very big shoe. <laughs> Thank you for that rich remark. It's touching. In the act. Glory be to God Almighty. Amen. I'm glad to be here that I still have a job after the tripoda verdict. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Your Excellency, the Honorable Minister of FCT in years and week. The man for all and 
a butthole. The Honorable Minister of Petroleum Resources. Members of the Executive Council and many advisors here present. Members of the delegation, this is a very powerful delegation that is politically blind and rich in culture and sincere in our belief of one country for all of us. All members of State National Assembly, His Majesty Chairman, River State Traditional Rulers Council, other royal fathers, the clergy, senior government officials, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I must first of all start with thanking you for this inspirational visit. It's a great encouragement. It's a sense of solidarity, truly solidarity. And a commitment to our democratic value and ethos. We thank God Almighty that we are able to make it. It's a big, long journey to Abuja for all of you to pull together this esteemed leadership of community to come with homage and pledge of solidarity it's nothing motivational than this, nothing else. All I can do is pledge to work hard and pray to God to put me on the right path, not to disappoint any of you. Yes, we've been through democratic twists and turns. I've made history with you in support of my ambition. You voted for me. I won rivers. That is never forgotten in my heart. I cherish that wholeheartedly. Please note that. As we promote the efforts to build a better Nigeria, a better country, the kind of example you show and commitment you have given to, to me is encouraging to do a lot, a lot better for the country. I tell you, it is hard now, and I could feel it as you feel it. Rivers is the nerve center of our economic activity. Housing to our revenue, housing to our several oil blocks, housing to our pipeline activities for the sustenance of the economic activities of this nation. Yeah, 
extremely important in the scheme of things for all of you. You have shown commitment, resiliency, and patriotism to promote unity and oneness in the country. And that's all we are all about. We are members of the same family, living in the same house, but stay in different rooms. <laughs> We just need to put it together. This is the only country that is so endowed, so blessed, that is still scratching the surface to go. Or it is. Don't just come for the visit. But be committed to our spirit of oneness. Have embraced that. We need to talk to our youths. If we are going to invest in their future, to bring about success, progress, and development. They need to hear from us that there is need for mindset, changes of mindset. Yes, I listened to the governor's argument on some issues of uh, NNDC and all this. I read it. I read your reaction. And it's not lost. What is fair is fair. But biting the change. It's necessary for us to build understanding, tolerance. It's, it's a give and take situation. Our children today are every, every day anxious. to get rich. But we just have to counsel them again and again. I employ all of you to put your hand on the deck for driving this nation, protecting it protecting our investment. It's not every time you will have a fair deal. But with tolerance, patience and perseverance, determination, and prayers, Nigeria is not in position to be poor. We will swim the tide. Somewhere, somewhere, in the eye of the storm, there is a quiet, restful, peaceful place. And we are going to 
to ride the stone. We are going to arrive at that quiet, peaceful place. <laughs> we are not lazy people. We are not. Very hardworking, richly endowed. But we just have to be our brother's keeper and be good neighbors to one another. The request for infrastructural development has been made. It's not lost in the presentation. The Honorable Minister for FCT is equally not just for FCT. He's a very strong advisor and admirer of mine. <laughs> and he has he the grand running. It's showing the stuff, it's made off. So it should be encouraged and supported. But pass things through him. If you are finding it difficult to get my attention, I am the captain, the chief salesman of the country right now. We have to reverse the trend. We have to make what appeared difficult very easy and achieve possibilities within a very short period of time. Our people are expecting a lot from us. How much longer is lamentation possible? I'm not the president that will give excuses. I want to work hard for our nation, a nation united by single purpose, development, focused, determined, make wealth prosperity a target for all. We have no reasons to be poor. We don't. And I'm sure you that we're not going to look back, but we will continue to look forward. And I'm glad it's the, the, the tragedies are here to anchor on their prayers for this country. We will swim the time. We will achieve the goals and the dream of our founding fathers. I thank all of you. I'm inspired. I can promise you that at least I have a secured job. from the tribunal now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 12 hours marathon, it's no joke. Uh, Yoruba says you don't sleep in front of the judge. Well, I, will <laughs> I will see the reversal of that same. <laughs> that day. Lord of the glorious dawn is coming. Nigeria, oh, is renewed. And we're going to walk. <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless River State. 
Lord bless Nigeria, Amen. Federal Republic of the country. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, smile. All right. Are we good? Hold on, hold on. Are we good? I'm done.